is that Brussels will have the power to punish the UK during the Brexit transition period. Now, this is according to a leaked legal document. Sanctions could impact flights, financial markets and trade. Well, this news comes as Theresa May is due to chair the first of the two Brexit War Cabinet meetings, focusing on future customs arrangements. Obviously, we to Ranveer Singh's at Downing Street this morning. Uh, Ranveer, uh, what the hell's going on today? Seems like every day there's a new load of stuff on Brexit. I can't get my head around today. Can you explain it to us in simple English? Yeah, I can actually. I mean, I can tell you that the bitter weather down here at Downing Street only reflects the sort of ominous tone of this leaked document, the biting nature of it. Some have called it the punishment plan. So basically what it does is it sets out what the EU wants to do to the UK if during that two-year transition period after we leave, but when we are still inside the customs union, because remember, Theresa May says she wants us to stay inside the customs union for a short period after we leave so that businesses can carry on exchanging goods with each each other across Europe without any taxes or tariffs like they do now, just so they've got a bit more time to plan for the future. But this document says that if we choose to stay inside the customs union during the transition period and we break the rules, i.e., for example, set different immigration uh, policy for EU migrants coming into the country to the one that is now. Remember, Theresa May says, actually, you can't treat them the same. Well, that's going to be a problem now. Uh, if we start trying to negotiate free trade deals uh, with other countries, thing these are things you can't do when you're inside the customs Customs Union. The EU says now in this leaked document, if we start breaking those rules, they could impose tariffs, they could start customs checks, they could even suspend uh, air aviation agreements. That's essentially suspend flight paths. I mean, this all sounds very serious. Jacob Rees-Mogg, who is the chair of the European Research Group, which is essentially about 30 hardline Brexit MPs, he came out last night and said this is not something that we can accept and it just is more proof to him that we need a clean break from the Customs Union. Union. And that's going to be the hot topic here at 10 Downing Street today because the Brexit War Cabinet is meeting today and tomorrow. And they've got to decide if this is something that we can really live with. Um, there is obviously an EU summit in March, which is when we're meant to start talking about trade. But that timeline is really starting to worry some MPs. The EU still says we can't talk about that until after March. But I do think the British government should say talking about the kind of final free trade agreement we might want is an integral part of discussing transition. And if this now leaked document puts another spanner in the works of whether we want to stay in the customs union at all after March 29th next year, if we can't agree uh, between now and March how to handle the transition period, will that time frame of starting trade talks slip even further. I mean, we have got, and I checked on the internet today, there's a counter online, we've got 415 days to go before we leave. It sounds like a lot, it really isn't.